Hello everybody, it's Fufu here, and today I'm doing a video all about Heatmore and some of the buffs that it received in Generation 7. So first I'll talk about the Pokemon in general, how it performed before these buffs, so that you can really appreciate how these buffs have changed the Pokemon. And this one's actually a really interesting one. If you like this kind of content, please consider supporting my channel by leaving a like on this video. But let's get straight into it. So Heatmore was introduced in Generation 5 as as a pure fire type Pokemon and it was really interesting I really like the design in terms of what it could do it has very strong offensive stats its attack and special attack are both very high but in terms of its other stats its bulk isn't too great and it's kind of slow so that's a bit of an issue because it can't take many attacks and it's going to go down quite quickly but if you use it correctly it can actually put a lot of damage on your opponent's team in battle. Heatmore actually has a pretty great offensive move pool it gets strong fire type attacks and it gets Giga Drain as a really nice coverage move. It does also get things like Focus Blast to making it a very strong special attacker which is generally how it was used because its special attack is slightly higher and Fire Blast was a very good stab for it to go for. But it does have some good physical moves as well. It has things like Knock Off, Super Power to hit Rock types and also Sucker Punch which you can use as priority, catch some faster things off guard. So that's really nice because it does have that usable attack stat. So a mixed wall breaker set or a special attacker was really how it was used previously. It also has some interesting abilities here too. Uh, one is gluttony, it means it eats its berry earlier. This isn't actually something I'm going to cover but that has been buffed this generation seeing as though the 50% berries are now a thing so Heatmore can actually use that ability if it wants to but it's probably not the best ability for a more offensive Pokemon. It gets flash fire which is great as an immunity to fire type attacks and powering up your own fire type hits and then white smoke means that you ignore intimidate, it means that you ignore sticky web but that wasn't as much used previously just because flash fire immunity is very helpful and Heatmore was generally more a special attacker so you didn't need to worry about intimidate users. So what about these buffs? Well I'll cover the big one first, the main one that people may have heard of and that is the new move Fire Lash. This is a new signature move for Heatmore, no other Pokemon at all learn this move now and it's a really nice physical fire type move. Prior to this generation Heatmore did not have good physical fire stab which was a shame because as I said it has really good physical coverage moves but it just didn't have that fire type stab to actually use a physical set. Fire Lash, this signature move for Heatmore, is the move that it was wanting. It's a base 80 power fire type move, it's 100% accurate and doesn't really have any drawbacks which is quite cool for a fire type move. A lot of them, the special moves like Heat Wave, Fire Blast, Inferno, um, Overheat, they're all inaccurate so it's nice to have a very accurate fire type move there and without any recoil or anything and it does have an added effect in that it reduces your opponent's defense which is so good. That is so good because you can break down the opponent's walls that would potentially otherwise be able to take on Heatmore. If they resist that attack, if they resist the Fire Lash, it doesn't matter because you still get the defense drop and you can go for one of your coverage moves like Super Power and uh, it's actually really really great. So this Pokemon can break through walls, it can weaken faster things if they want to try and switch in to pick them off with a Sucker Punch. It's just such a great spammable move and it's a bit of a shame that other things don't get it because it will be such a useful move for so many other Pokemon but I quite like that Heatmore is able to have something that is unique to it and, it, and there's a reason to use Heatmore in itself. You can lure in your opponent's defensive walls, you can get that Heat Lash going on, reducing their defense and taking them out. What's the best way to use this? Well, obviously a physical set would be great or at least a physically oriented set but you can still run some of that special coverage. Giga Drain could still be nice for covering for some 
rock types or ground types or water types especially that might want to switch in. So Giga Drain is still an option there if you want to run a mixed set but generally it's got good enough physical coverage to run a physical set and though its physical attack is lower than its special attack I would argue that Fire Lash makes its physical sets more viable than special sets now. So really a massive change for Heatmore and a big reason to try it out because the, the move looks cool and it's a really great move. The second buff that I'm going to be talking about is actually another physical fire type move that Heatmore now gets. It really lacked them in previous generations, but now it also learns Flare Blitz as a level up move. It's more powerful than Fire Lash, but unfortunately it does have the uh, negative effect of recoil, which isn't great for fire types that are already weak to Stealth Rock, but that immediate power could be a reason to run it over Fire Lash. If you just want a really powerful wall breaker, you can put a Choice Band on Heatmore, it gets fantastic coverage, so you could run things like Flare Blitz, Super Power, Knock Off, even Sucker Punch, Thunder Punch, it gets a really great coverage option, so not many things would be able to switch in safely on this, and Flare Blitz would hit so hard. So if you want immediate power, then you can definitely consider running Flare Blitz. You could run the combination of Fire Lash and Flare Blitz, but I think that really the only reason you'd want Flare Blitz is for immediate power with a choice band, so you're not going to be switching up moves. But it's a nice option for Heatmore now to have, and I do think that it's worth consideration. The third and final buff that I will be talking about today is Z moves because I do think that again it gives heat more more options than it had before so I think it's worth noting I know everything gets Z moves we're not actually talking about offensive Z moves here we're talking about status Z moves because it gives heat more some utility that it wasn't able to do before. The first one I'm going to talk about is Z Snatch. This is a way for heat more to boost its speed significantly. The only way it could do that previously would be with Flame Charge. Now it can get a plus two boost in one turn with Snatch. I think that's pretty cool and worth noting. You can then try to sweep with maybe a special set just because you do have coverage and it's got a bit more immediate power than its physical set, its special attack is slightly higher and its special moves are a bit more spammable than Flare Blitz which will obviously take you out over time. But yeah, I do think that this is a potential step that you could try. The second Z move that I want to mention here is something that I've actually taken inspiration from Pyrotoz, aka Tommy. Um, he's a great YouTuber and one of my inspirations actually. He uses some really cool sets on Pokemon Showdown and he used a Z stockpile heat more, which I just kind of blew my mind slightly. This was way back in the day when um, Fire Lash was first introduced and it basically turns heat more into what is normally a frail offensive Pokemon into a bulky attacker which I think is really cool so you can set up some stockpiles on things that actually normally would probably beat you and um, so get some defense boosts Heatmore's HP is actually really high already so if you can just boost up those defenses Heatmore becomes very bulky you then can go for Z stockpile once you've got your defense boost to heal yourself back up to full and then start going for fire lashes to break down the walls or anything else that tries to switch in it's a really, really cool set. I think it's a stroke of inspiration from Tommy. I'll link his video of him using it with relative success on Pokemon Showdown in the description below, so do check that out. But I think that it's a really cool, different way to use Heatmore, and Z-moves have given this Pokemon some other roles. So rather than just being a wall breaker, it can actually sweep, and it can actually be a bulky attacker. So those are some really cool ways to use Heatmore. I hope you guys have been a bit inspired from this video. I, I really want you to try out Heatmore, because it doesn't get the attention that it deserves. I think a lot of Gen 5 Pokemon actually do slip under the radar, and this is definitely one, but now it does have its signature move, Fire Lash, you really have a reason to use it. Definitely worth using just for that. But that's going to be all for today. I hope you found this video interesting. As I said, please leave a like if you do like this content. It helps out the channel massively, and it does let me know what you guys want to see. But that's going to be all for today. I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.